new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you a florida substitute teacher was busted for having relations with a teenage student who allegedly shared one of their videos on snapchat Ayana Davis, age 20, a substitute English teacher at Lakeland High School, was arrested Friday after she admitted to having inappropriate interactions with the student four times, twice at her house and twice at the victim's home. Davis's admission matched with the statements made by the victim, whose exact age can't be disclosed but was listed in a release as 16. Authorities launched a probe of the teacher on December 3rd after a student informed the school's resource officer that a Snapchat video was circulating that showed Davis having interactions with the student. The video was reportedly shown to a large group of school's football teammates. Law enforcement officials have not yet been able to view the video but are working to track it down. After the interview with police, Davis was charged by the sheriff's office with two counts of SB by custodian and offenses against a student by an authoritative figure. She additionally was charged with two additional counts of SB by Lakeland Police Department. She made her first court appearance on December 11th when a $60,000 bond was ordered for all five charges. She is scheduled to be arraigned on January 10th of 2022. According to officials, Davis is not a Polk County Public School employee, but served as Lakeland High School as a substitute teacher through staffing company Kelly Education Services. The company has been instructed that Davis is no longer able to work in any Polk County public schools. Quote, we expect substitute teachers to uphold the same high standards of conduct and professionalism as our full-time educators. The charges against this person are a disgrace and a complete violation of the trust that teachers build with their students. There is no room in our schools for this type of conduct. Polk County School District changed its policy in October permitting anyone 20 years or older with a high school or a GED diploma to be a substitute teacher. Simple, um, just throw away. There, there's, like I said, there's nothing left. There, there's, there's no reason to even talk about the story in a sense she's 20 years old she decided to be a substitute teacher just to go back to high school more than likely the exact same high school and then you know start introducing herself to the the bodies in the high school uh like i said it's beyond me there's countless times i always see women becoming teachers or substitute teachers or teachers helpers and they go to these high schools and they're just freely introducing themselves to the the student body and i'm like where are all of the women to call this out where are all of the women to call this out because mind you if this would have been a man and especially if this would have been a black man right that did this oh yeah mouths would have been open people would have been talking people would have been running people would have been pointing fingers but magically when it's a woman and it just so happens to be a black woman i don't i don't really see a lot of coverage about this i don't really see a lot of the men the black men hating networks you know really covering stories like this because i'm pretty sure a lot of those women who entertain a lot of those networks I'm pretty sure they have kids, right? And I'm pretty sure they would not want their kids engaging with this teacher. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that those same women would not want their sons staying after school for extended hours with this teacher. 
I'm pretty sure that at no point in time, right, those women would want her to be anywhere around their kids. But yet, here we are. Here we are. But like I said before, this is what happens when you have the whole thing with feminism, when you have the whole thing with, uh, you know, women saying that they can't be, you know, corrected. A man can't tell them what to do, can't correct them, can't do any of those things, right? This is what takes place because now you have women out here who don't want to take accountability and responsibility and acceptance for what it is that they're doing directly out here. Like I said, she's doing the exact same thing that you've seen men do out here. But the difference is usually the men get charged harshly. Like they're going to be on a registry. They're going to have to more than likely pay a fine. They're more than likely going to have to serve some time, if not a long forever stint directly locked up behind bars. And the bail is, you know, going to be what it's going to be. But like I said before, where are those women? to directly call out women like this who go directly after your kids. But I'm pretty sure some of the women out there be like, oh, uh, but, you know, you guys need to, you know, really monitor and, and, and watch and look at, you know, what men are doing. And because you guys are the leaders and if you're the leaders, then you need to lead. Right. Like I said, it's crazy backwards logic. You have a lot of them that will sit in a chair you know, directly at a table, and they'll say those exact words looking directly in your face. But then, you know, supernaturally, they're like, oh, no, I'm independent. I don't need a man to lead me. I don't need a man to show me what it is, you know, to do or to correct me. I can correct myself. Like I said, man, I don't don't know what to tell people. People are confused out here. Um, But the one thing I'm not confused on is the fact that she needs to get as much time as possible because she willingly decided to hunt down, right, one of these uh, teenagers and decided that, you know, she wanted to freely just show herself off. Like I said, she's 20. She's with somebody who is 16, which means that more than likely when she was in school, that guys weren't checking for her. That guys were not sitting up there looking for her. So this is exactly why she decides to go back into high school so that she can relive those moments that she never, you know, had a chance to live. I said, this is what down bad looks like when you have people that decide that they want to, you know, engage in these types of acts when they want to make the wrong decisions on purpose. This is exactly what you get right here it's amazing to me that she couldn't magically find a man her age magically that i i guess magically a 16 year old is far more mature than a guy that is in his early 20s mid 20s and late 20s like i said before this is a part of that whole you know modern woman type of deal but you know it is what it is oh well hope for a lot of women out there you better hide your kids hide your other kids and hide your husbands. Matter of fact, you don't even got to worry about your husbands. Just just hide whatever kids you got because they coming after everybody out here. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, stay tuned for the next video.